Hello, my dear YouTube viewers. <coughs> Good morning. Here from Dhaka, the capital city of Bangladesh. I hope all of you having a very wonderful day, happily blessed, and a very nice and healthy life you are leading. Gentlemen, <coughs> excuse me. This is my last video uh, as I am moving to India and my grow house and balcony will be taken over my by my wife. She will do take care of this. I'll be off for three, four days. And this time I hope she'll be able to manage because she has her own uh, balcony set up. She also a wonderful uh, orchid lover. Uh, why I am uh, here today? Because uh, most of you have seen my uh, grow house at the rooftop, but I made some changes. Changes like I had my vendors here on this side, and this portion is, if you can see, you can see, if you can see this. Uh, this yellow part this is the this portion is the uh, shed of my uh, rooftop garden this portion is the shed and then from here to this bamboo stick is a shed cloth so rain drops here and when my when i put my vendors here they get crown rot so uh, to solve this problem, what I have done, <clears throat> I have fixed one pipe, white pipe, you can see. You can see that that is the white pipe from there up to that. So all the vendors are now under half shed. They get rain, but the crown do not get water. And I hope that they are having a very wonderful time here under the half roof uh, shaded and as usual this is my hangar I put all the important which needs to be uh, dry out time I put them here and <clears throat> this is my great Victoria Regina very tall and it is now pushing out two growth one here and the other one is quite big it's quite big yeah I don't know whether I can get flower this season or not uh, well gentlemen uh, I like to share some important issues uh, like uh, I have another hanger here uh, all the cocoa chips compact you see this is cocoa chip this is compact compact chip cocoa chip this is cocoa chip and when I say cocoa chip means uh, this compact sorry uh, when I say cocoa compact then these are the coconut uh, chips is compact with the uh, on the pot well this is a very good stuff very good media very very good media but here in Bangladesh during the rainy season now we are having rainy season they get so quickly soaked up and the insect can easily make their net nest inside this cocoa chip cannot be seen so I am trying to leave away these cocoa chips and I have started moving towards rock. These are all rock. Rock with some say rock. This is rock. This rock. See? The root is pushing out, getting into the rock. So uh, the rock uh, I am setting and I am getting very satisfactory, very satisfactory result. And I think gradually I should move. Oh my god 
my new hoya is getting a bloom it's a very good hoya very beautiful hoya is getting a bloom here well uh, <coughs> this rock are very good you see how they are grabbing the root so these rock are very good for my country and they can uh, be very good media in my environment you can see another another one here is another one you see how it is grabbing the uh, root you just grabbing the root I like the rock very well but the question is I have to wait and see how the result comes up and how the growth takes place that is very important uh, now uh, the setup now I have made for my wife to take care of her this side all the hanging one this side all hanging all hanging so she just don't care put some spray just put some spray here that will do and if it is raining then it's very very good and this side this side I have put as it is a there is a shed I have put all the cocoa compact the coconut uh, skin can compact I have put all of them here uh, as I have done fertilizing today so after uh, uh, after more two days that is after 48 hours they need to be a flush so if there is a rain then my wife is going to shift this from here to here so they will get rain they will get rain and they will, he, she will shift all this uh, bare rooted uh, plant to this hanger so that uh, they got rain and now they will get rain this is the arrangement I am making for four days for my wife uh, I hope that she can uh, do it I hope to come back uh, after four days tonight I am going India uh, pray for me well gentlemen I have come here to show you one plant is very fantastic looking big size but I don't know his ID can you see the leaves and the bulb the seller says is a bulbophilium I don't know it has a flower also uh, we can see I can show you the flower it has a good flower spike see this is the flower if you can kindly name me what is the name of this this is a Thai species. They call it a species. This is the. Uh, it looks like like oncidium, but the bulb are not like oncidium. I don't know. There that may be a very giant oncidium because the flower says such. But I need a ID. Please help me to get ID for this uh, orchid. So <clears throat> uh, that's all about uh, for today's uh, video. Uh, as I am this, uh, this is the exit point. I am going out of my uh, grow room, uh, and on my left, this side are the hangers, and the cocoa chips are put in here, and this side are under. Uh, under 50% shaded cloth and get rains and all the bare rooted uh, orchids are here sun is coming from uh, this side this side uh, this is this is the uh, west and this is uh, east so uh, uh, I hope uh, this can make a very good uh, trip for me no tension all are set well and I now just need to
pack up my things. Uh, these are the Oncidium. I have recently potted with uh, Paralyte, Chromix, then Rock with this hue. These are all on test and trial. I am just testing them to see the performance, how it works in my winner. Uh, this is this is, good. this is pushing good roots. I hope that they will be very good, but they don't need to put in water. I don't want to put them water now, so I put them in the hanger. So, gentlemen, uh, let us call it a day. Uh, you will be. Uh, in contact with you, seeing your videos, uploads, making a lot of queries as usual, but I will not have any video till I am back. Pray for me, stay fine, and I also pray for you and your orchids. Stay blessed. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.